So in this video, we are going to briefly discuss about the efficiency of binary search trees. So it depends actually on the height of the tree. And all of the three operations like searching, insertion, and then uh, deletion will be um, O of height of the tree, right? So if the tree is uh, complete or full, then the and then the height would be the floor of log of n, where n would be the number of nodes plus one. Okay, so what happens if it isn't complete or full? And then when we say complete, uh, what do we mean exactly again? So what is this property, completeness? So it means that the uh, tree should be uh, balanced. And also uh, when we say balanced, the left sub tree and then the right sub tree of the um a certain node should have at most uh two in the difference, and then also all of the leaves are all leaning on the left. Okay, but what happens if the tree is not complete or full? So what would be the height of the BSD? So assuming that uh we have this uh three, so let's say first we insert seven. And now insert four. So four would be on the left of seven because four is less than seven. Then we insert one. So that means that it will be on the left of four. And then we insert nine. And nine is greater than seven. So it would be on the right of seven. And then insert five. So five is less than seven, but it's greater than four. So it will be on the right of four. And then, so it's a complete three. As you can see, and if we do uh searching or deletion or insertion, so at most it would take O of height of the tree, which is in this case is two. Okay, you count the number of edges from the root up to the leaf. So um why is it O of log n? So for example, if we are going to delete five, so it will traverse from we have to do search for that node 5. So we have to traverse from the root to 4 and then to uh, 5, right? So it's O of log n or O of height of the tree. Now what happens if we have this uh, BSD instead? Let's say we insert 9 and then we insert 1. So 1 is less than 9. So it will be on the left of 9. Now we insert 7. So seven is on the seven is less than nine, but it's greater than one. So it will be on the right of one. And now we are going to insert four. So four is less than nine and it's uh, greater than one, but it is less than seven. So it will be on the left of seven. Okay, now we are going to insert five. So five is um less than nine so greater than one and then less than uh seven but is greater than four so it will be on the right of four okay. so as you can see that this is still a binary search tree because if we look at the left subtree and then the right subtree it does not violate any property of BSD. but as you can see it's a linked list and we have um we can see that if we need to, let's say, delete 5, we have to traverse all the way from 9 to 1 to 7 to 4 and then 5, okay? Compare it to this kind of arrangement. So we have 7 for 9 and then 5, and then the height of the tree is just 2, so it, it is so much faster to look for 5. So what if the arrangement of the... Um, binary search tree is like this, where it looks like a linked list. It, it is a linked list, actually, it's just a linked list. And we have to traverse from 9, 1, 7, 4, and then 5. So the height is so much bigger. Okay, so it's O of N or the number of nodes, which is equal to 5. So now, um, again, in the complete PSD, if uh, this, if the binary search tree is complete, then the items can be inserted and removed in O of height time. 
But if the item is not complete and it is not balanced, like for example, we have this arrangement, it's a linked list actually. So in order to, let's say, get 24, we have to traverse all the way. And in this case, the height is now O of N or O of the number of uh, N or the number of nodes, which is in the case five. So it is so much uh, inefficient to look or to do certain operations. So if the tree is it, uh, not balanced like this one, it will be at the worst place. Okay. Now, um, so given that motivation, we should know how to balance the trees because if we balance the trees, performing the operations would be more efficient. So that would give us um, the worst case O of log n prime compared of at the worst case, which would be O of n time. And here are some approaches to balancing a tree. So we could opt not to balance the tree, but we may end up with some nodes that are on very deep. Or we could have a straight balance where the tree must always be balanced perfectly. Or we could just allow only a little bit of balance or we can just adjust on the um, axis. Okay, so there are a lot of algorithms actually. And for this video, we are going to discuss most on the ABL trees or um from Adelson Velsky Landy, uh, um, authors of the or discoverers of these trees. Okay, so in the ABL tree, so it's height balance na trees, which will make our operations much more efficient. So in the next videos, we are also going to discuss about split trees and then B trees and so on and so forth. Okay.